Good morning guys, I'm comedian Haley Boyle and this is the Full Frontal Lobe How to Make Anxiety Your Bitch bonus video. Instead of talking about myself, uh, we're going to talk about some basic techniques for busting anxiety since most of the world has joined me in this weird little isolation lifeboat. So let's talk about how to deal with it. Um, the techniques I'm going to use are DBT associated techniques. DBT is dialectical, dialectal behavioral therapy. It's a type of therapy and a collection of skills that establish new neural pathways in your brain so that you have healthier, happier default thoughts. But that's not what this is about. This is about how you can let go of anxiety right now. Okay. What is anxiety? Anxiety is when your mind is existing at a point in time other than now. You're worried about something that already happened. You're thinking about something you did. You're worried about something that might happen, things in the future. It can be overwhelming. And before you know it, you're not productive at all. Now, me, I tend to get paralyzed and I <laughs> end up doing nothing. Some people run around crazy and wear themselves out. Everyone has their own reactions, their own sources for anxiety, but we all have basically the same source and the same techniques can help us. The rescue technique for anxiety is mindfulness, right? If anxiety means you're worried about the future or the past, or whatever, the cure is to stay in the moment now. How many times in your life have you found yourself being on autopilot? eating food without really tasting it or thinking about it, driving home and getting in your driveway and realizing that you, it's kind of a blur the drive home because you went on autopilot. This is not good. <laughs> so step one is be aware of when you go on autopilot. Try to realize that you're doing it and stop yourself. Come back to the moment. If you realize that you're scarfing down food and not really thinking about it, stop. Look at your plate, look at your food, taste what's in your mouth, be in that moment, enjoy it. Why? Because besides anxiety, being overwhelmed all the time can lead to other issues. Overeating, forgetting to eat, car accidents, you know, losing your keys all the time, setting them down somewhere and not knowing where. So mindfulness is something to practice on a regular basis to reduce your anxiety. However, if you're in a crisis now, if you're having a panic attack, there's some really simple techniques that you can do. They're even better if you have a buddy or someone that can do them with you. If you have a spouse or a work wife or a child that's very emotionally intelligent, to teach them this technique so that when you're having a panic attack, they can walk you through it until you develop the habit to do it yourself. My favorite technique is the 54321 technique. You name five things you can see out loud, four things you can touch, three things you can smell, see, touch, hear, four things you can hear, three things you can touch, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. And by the time you've gotten down that countdown, what you've done is brought yourself back into the moment. You've brought your mind back into your body and associated the two again. Now there's a lot of variations on this technique and look, I'll make a template at the end that you can listen to if you're actually having a panic attack and use, or you can use it to make your own video in your phone to play for yourself when you're having a panic attack. Um, but the other, there's a lot of variations on this. You can do uh, name out loud five blue things you see in the room or name out loud four circles you see in the room. And it doesn't have to be five, four, three, two, one. You can do this in a way that suits you, suits the environment that you're in. So let's say you're out in the woods somewhere and you go, look, uh, I want you to name four, four plants you see right now or pick out three gray rocks and point them out, say it out loud. The whole point of the exercise is to bring your mind and body back together, right? You can't be panicking about the future if you're trying to count things that are in the room right in front of you. It's super effective, super helpful, highly, highly recommend it. The first few times you do it, you're going to be shocked at how good it works. And believe me, look, I've had panic attacks that have lasted for weeks on end and been hospitalized for it. And I can be brought right back to the moment with these techniques. Um, I'm going to pause it for a second because I don't want a big gap while I'm thinking. So there's a variety of techniques you can use besides this things like I've mentioned before a mantra and using your fingers. And I want to point something out, right? When I've done it before, you've seen me do like this. This is not mindfulness. I'm not thinking about this. This is not accurate. This is just me feeding into my anxiety, right? I'm going to do a mantra. You have to be mindful. I'm a good mom. I'm a good mom. Now thinking about the words and saying them with your fingers and meeting your fingertip, each one like this, this is mindfulness. This is bringing you back into the moment because you have to think about this. It's tricking your brain into not worrying about what you are worrying about coming back into the moment, 
so you can get your breath, regroup, and go again. Another great way to bust anxiety, make anxiety your bitch, is physical exertion, exercise. Now, I know you don't want to hear that. And you probably already know that. People probably tell you all the time, get up, get up, move your body. You'll feel better about yourself. And look, obviously, if you are not the type to exercise regularly, then you know that if you were to exercise regularly, you would feel accomplished and healthy and blah, 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 blah. But that's not how this is an anxiety buster. Here's the thing. When you exercise, when you are doing rigorous physical activity, your body releases endorphins. Endorphins are like the white wine of the human body. They get released into your system so that you're not feeling any pain. They cheer you up, right? When you do exercise, if you stop right now and do 20 squats, that's like having your body send your brain a dozen roses and some dramatic lilies and one of those really cool fall arrangements that has like a sunflower and some of those seed pods. It's giving yourself the best fighting chance. So wherever you are, if you're having a panic attack, or if you're feeling overwhelmed by anxiety, Go ahead and do some. Do some squats. Do a couple jumping jacks. I don't do jumping jacks. It's a little hard on Thelma and Louise here. Boom. Gina Davis is the one on the left. Anyway, physical exercise can be a great way to bust anxiety. So I'm going to do a little template now. Like I said, you can either use this for yourself in the future, and I'll do a sh I'll cut this up too and put just this part in the comments so that if you are having a panic attack and you are by yourself and you don't know these techniques, you can watch the video and, and calm down with me. Okay. Okay. So I want you to take a deep breath. Okay. Open your eyes. And I want you to name out loud five things that you can see. Any five things that you can see. It's fun. It's good job. Good job, guys. Okay. I want you to take another deep breath. And I want you to say out loud four things that you can hear right now. Any four things. One of them can be me. Hmm. Now I want you to name out loud three things that you can touch from where you are right now. Keep breathing. Okay, now two things that you can hear. No, crap, I blew it again. <laughs> this is why we do this with a buddy. Hmm. Okay, so now I want you to name two things that you can smell right now from where you are. Say them out loud. Great. That one's a little tricky, I know, but you're doing great. Now one thing that you can taste. Okay, now your heart rate should be lowered. You should be able to see and think a little more clearly. You did a great job. Hang in there, guys, and try to be nice to each other. Everybody's going through it together now, okay? Same team.